Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I'm a pediatric physical therapist. I've got about 30 years of clinical practice in pediatrics. I can't be with Myla right now, so I've asked her mother to do some videos. And in this video, we started working on standing ball throwing. So um, I usually start off with a child being able to hold a ball in one hand. That's easier than throwing the ball with two hands. Um, they can get a sidearm fling or an actual throw. And uh, let's watch the video and see how Myla did. All right. Throw it again. Good job. One more. Yay. This, my, this video makes me giggle because I see Myla modifying the activity herself. On the first throw, she throws the ball and she thinks, whoa, that's a little tricky. So when she got the ball the second time, she backed up a little bit so that either her hand or her, the back of her hips could be touching the couch. So she'd get a little bit more support to be able to throw the ball. So clearly a way to make this activity a little easier is to give her a little bit more support like Myla chose to do, or a way to make it a little bit harder is to back her away from any piece of furniture so she has to keep her standing balance and throw the ball. If you do things like placing cups or uh, giving things back and forth when you're standing, it's not as challenging as a dynamic throw that tends to throw off your balance a little bit more, makes it a little bit more challenging as a balance activity. I hope this idea was good for you and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.